Thank you so much. To go on this ride, you have to really feel like August Moon is a real band. It was such a huge achievement to create the biggest boy band in the world. That portion of the movie was something I was pretty terrified about. Galvanizing an audience is a very hard thing to do. It was such a journey seeing this group come together on stage. The guys that were cast for August Moon are so talented. Every member of the band has a very distinct personality. Million Dollar Smile, Aussie Rebel, Brooding Poet, and Swagger. Am I about Hayes? Well, I'm just English. <laughs> The trick to playing a convincing boy band is to build rapport with the guys around you. That has to be believable. We knew from the beginning we were going to write original music, and we wanted to put them in essentially a boot camp. And we just hit the ground running. Nick knew he was going to be dancing with professional dancers. So I got together with him at least three times a week, teaching him the basics of dance, getting him to loosen up and just get really comfortable in his body. And then when I got to integrate them all together and actually put the formations together, it was just so fun to see them all just mesh together like best friends. Nice job, boys. They were all staying at the same hotel. They had meals together. They had film nights together. They really created fan culture. It's just been this process of pulling these characters out of the boys. How do they move? How do they walk? How do they pose? I was in the For me, because I'm a dancer, she guided us through the process of where we need to chill out and not dance so hard, because we are trying to play boy band members, not dancers. Sometimes it was bumping up the choreography for me and then pulling it down for them and finding these amazing little moments between us on stage. I've been thinking it's been a long process, and every hour has been well spent. The music was really reflective of who the guys were, so we hired the best pop writer in the business, Savin Katecha. He's written some of the most iconic pop songs in the last 10, 20 years. I've worked with boy bands a lot historically. <laughs> it's sort of my bag, and Nick killed the vocals. It's so good. Being able to work with him is an absolute privilege. I took a little time to breathe. Nick Galatine, he's just super talented. You can kind of throw anything at him. Hey, play guitar. Hey, play piano. I need you to sing. He's just got an incredible swoony voice. Very swoony. Music has been a passion of mine for a while, and so it's been truly just a gift. We're so excited. This entire process, rehearsing the boys, has been leading up to this moment. Finally getting to do it on stage with a group of fans. It's incredible. It all comes down to this. Places, everyone. Here we go. Ready and play back. so honored to be here on this iconic stage. When it came time for them to do their performance, they were beyond impressive. And we just watched people lose their minds. You kind of start becoming this real band outside of trying to create a fake band. We've had to really get to know each other, and we've built a lot of trust throughout this process and had a lot of fun all the while doing it. Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate it.